All right, hello and welcome. Baro Katir is back, so let's talk about what he has brought for us today. His new item for today is a rug, which I have already thrown down in my quarters, so let's take a look at that very quickly. That rug really tied the room together, did it not? Fucking A. All right, welcome back. Uh, so it's okay, I don't mind it. It could probably stand to be a little larger, I think. But, aside from that, we have the Axie A5 relics, so if you, for some reason, do not want to do bounties uh, of the T5 variety to get these, then you can purchase them for 125 ducats apiece. That is an insanely awful value proposition, but feel free to do so if you really need the Akvastos, which you don't. So, moving on. Uh, we also have, gameplay-wise, we have Buzzkill, Sweeping Serration, Maim, Prime Flow, and Primed Regen. So, Maim, Sweeping Serration, Buzzkill. Sweeping Serration is the only mod here I would consider using, because it goes on to the Tiger's Prime. Uh, and also, you can just, like, you can just farm these from Eidolons. Like, you're just going to get them eventually from Eidolons, so don't bother with them. On the Primed side, however, both of these mods are incredibly useful. Prime Flow goes on a huge amount of Warframes, uh, and just more energy is good. Shock and surprise, I know. Uh, and as for Sentinels, unless you are now using a dog or a cat a lot, which, to be fair, fetch is a thing now, so that's reasonable, uh, then this is extremely good on every single Sentinel in the game. So if you still prefer Sentinels, very useful. If you don't, harder case to make, honestly. Uh, and then we have the Quanta Vandal and the Prisma Twin Gremlins. Prisma Twin Gremlins, they're fine. They're, like, pretty good secondary weapons, um, and they're not, like, insane expensive for how good they are, so I would say you'd be pretty safe to pick these up, and they're not only going to be MR for you as long as you want to invest to the Forma. Uh, the Quanta Vandal, also quite good. Uh, not just MR, this is one of the, uh, really good beam weapons. It's not the best, because obviously things like the Amprex exist, but it is very good, and you're not going to be unhappy with using that, I think. Uh, it is worth noting that you can actually color the Quanta Vandal now, so you don't have to buy the Atheist skin in order to be able to customize this weapon now. Uh, so do not feel pressured to do so. Uh, and then besides that, we have the Eminence palette, which looks extremely good. I mean, hey, if you like purple, you can tell from the preview that you're going to be into this. Uh, so there's that. So go for it if you're into purple. Um... And yeah, that's kind of all there is in terms of uh, gameplay stuff and also a color palette, I suppose, just because I like it uh, on Bar on PC today. So let's move on over to console. Okay, so over here on console, today we have the Axie A5 Relics, as is the same on PC, so the same goes. Uh, you guys are getting the Harkonar Wraith Chest Armor for the first time, at least through Borrow anyway, because it was previously available in an event. Uh, and you guys have the Fire Duel stats. So. Fire dual stats can all just be farmed, so don't, don't not just farm them. Like, just get them from spies. There's no reason to purchase any of these, so just, just do that instead. These are way overpriced considering how easy they actually are to get just by doing a couple of spy missions. So unless you are absolutely horrid at those, in which case just get Limbo, definitely don't buy these. Uh, and then we have, unfortunately... Prime Quick Draw and Primed Pistol Ammo Mutation. Uh, neither of them are particularly good. Uh, there's not. There's just not really much use for either of them, especially not now in the face of Fortuna being a thing, because Primed Quick Draw was a thing where you would put it on like the Aklex, right? But the Aklex are now way far and beyond outpaced, even within like their, I guess, firing class by the Tomb Finger kit guns. So there's just really no reason to get either of these, uh, with exception to, of course, if you want to use the Twin Gracadas, Prime Pistol Ammo Mutation is going to help you use them for quite a bit longer than the few seconds you would normally get, so that is useful for that. Uh, besides that, we have the Prisma Scana, which for now is a pretty good melee weapon that has a nice augment. So if you're looking for an augmented melee weapon to be using, that's a pretty decent one. Uh, and you also have the Prisma Gorgon. Prisma Gorgon, out of all the Gorgons, it is definitely the best one. Uh, it's kind of just your fairly generic, like, crit rifle. But 
that's not bad if you like the kind of heavy machine gun look it's got going for it. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and then I think that is everything in terms of gameplay stuff besides a credit booster. And you can decide for yourself whether or not you need a credit booster. Uh, however, I will say that the Elixir skin, actually kind of all of the Elixir skins, all look really good. So, eh, you know, looks like some, some good fashion stuff here as well. Uh, anyway, that is going to do it for Barrow Couture today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Sorry there haven't been a ton of videos on the channel or anything. Um, things have been weird lately, but they should ramp back up very soon. So, uh, I will see you then. Later, everybody.